Hi, folks. So one of the things that I noticed um, going through and talking to people and also just looking at um, the classroom itself is that I think one thing that's changed is the look of submissions of where you submit things is a little bit different perhaps than it used to be. So I just wanted to show you if you wanted to submit something like the annotating assignment, what you would do, because you can see there's a, it tells you what to submit and you're like, okay, but where? Um, so if you click on the assignment itself, it's going to bring up an option where you can drag and drop in here. Um, if you have trouble submitting and confirming submissions, there is a video available here that you can watch. And there's also instructions about uploading handwritten submissions. Um, but if you want to submit something like you do an email attachment, like you have been doing previously, you do have to click on the assignment to bring it up. And then you would just upload it from your computer um, or you could just drag it in. Um, if you're doing something like a Google file, the first thing I would recommend is, you know, if you have like a Google Doc, um, a Google document, let's go to my Google Docs. For some things, instead of sharing a link, it might even just be easier to um, open it. Um, or I'm sorry, to save it. So file, you know, download it as a Word doc. Um, in some instances, that might be the easiest thing for you to do because then it will pop up in a way that your instructor can make comments directly on the document. Um, if you include a Google link, um, that is something that we can open in Google. But if we have any comments for you, uh, it's not going to pop up as an image where we can just put the comments straight into D2L. So it might be easier to just download it and save a copy of it as a Microsoft Word document. Um, you know, you can <laughs> not untitled document probably. Uh, but then you can just upload it directly from your downloads. So again, when you're back here submitting, you can upload. And let's say, so I'm going to go to my downloads. And I just downloaded that untitled document and now I can just submit it that way. That might be the easiest thing, uh, but if you do want to include a Google link, you can give it a go. Um, actually, I guess it doesn't let you even put in comments on your submissions anymore, which is strange. So that's probably going to be the best thing for you to do. Uh, your screen might look slightly different. I am in student view, so hopefully not. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, that would be my recommendation because I am not seeing as there used to be um, an option for you to just put in a comment or anything like that. Um, yeah, so that would that's what I would recommend you do if you're working with Google Docs. Instead of sending a link, um, just download it. Or if you're using one of those other apps that lets you create annotations, make sure you download a copy that is a .doc or a .docx that you can upload here. Um, yeah, 